Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important topic for Central Bank of India scale 3 and scale 4 exam that is IBC code. So we are going to do the concept and then we are going to do some quizzes, right? Every year there are like uh, 2, 3, 2, 3 questions. In similar exams I have seen Bank of Maharashtra ka 22 January ko paper hua. Do question aaye the and I'm going to tell you exactly ki kaun se question aaye the is topic mein se. So stay updated pura aap session dekhen taaki aapko pata chale kaun se questions aaye the aur kaun se questions paper mein normally aate hain. While doing the class I'll let you know ki exam mein aane wala kaun sa topic hai. Thik hai? Let's start the session but before starting Central Bank of India 2023 scale 3 scale 4 course is already available on bankexamstudy.com and abhi tak agar aapne join nahi kiya to join kar lijiye we are providing complete video classes notes quizzes test series and this is my whatsapp number ask your doubts here link to join the course is available in the description okay so let me just hide myself and then let's start the session okay so students what is insolvency and bankruptcy code so before the ibc Students, there were a lot of laws like Partnership Act was there, is actually it is there, uh, Companies Act is there, Negotiable Instruments Act is there, a lot Contract Act is there, a lot of acts were dealing with the bankruptcy and insolvency, right? For the defaults, a lot of acts are there. But there was no systematic way. The IBC is actually streamlining and making everything systematic. Ye pure process procedure ko systematic bana raha hai in a time bond manner so right now before ibc like thousands of cases were there and uh, the courts were not able to solve the cases in a time bond manner that is why ibc is there the process is here so ibc repealed all the previous legislations and it established a standardized framework for resolving the insolvency and bankruptcy cases. Okay. And it enables the creditors to analyze the debtors viability as a business decision. Okay. So it enables what the, this code does is ki enable karta hai ki whether the debtor jisne paisa liya hai and he's unable to pay his debt back wo apni debt ko service nahi kar pa raha emis nahi de pa raha then the creditors they check whether the business can be you know turn around ho sakta hai ke nahi ho sakta whether uh, the plan for resurrection is possible or let's make a quick liquidation okay so there are two possibilities the creditors is going to take a decision whether to agree for the resurrection or the turnaround plan or propose a quick liquidation sell off the assets and give pay us whatever possible right in most of the cases the banks or the creditors go for the quick liquidation that is the most common one so the co the code establishes a new legal structure there is a proper uh, procedure that's what we are going to discuss in the next slides right so before going to the uh, procedure, let's understand the various elements in the procedures. The first one is the insolvency professional. Once the insolvency procedure has been started, you cannot, uh, you know, keep the assets of the business with the debtor. Obviously, the, the debtor is going to sell off the assets and he is going to run away, most probably, right? So the insolvency professional, he's a licensed uh, insolvency professional. He is going to take charge of the assets of, of debtor, right? And he's going to give information to the creditors and which would help the creditors to make the informed decision. What is the decision? Whether to take up the resurrection uh, plan or propose a quick liquidation. Okay. So insolvency professional agencies so insolvency practitioners they'll be registered with the uh, professional agency for insolvency exams are conducted right and uh, exams would be conducted to certify the insolvency specialist okay and these insolvency professionals they follow a proper code of behavior right that's the point so information utilities as the name suggests they maintain the track of debts owned to creditors as well as repayments and debt defaults. Okay. Adjudicating authorities, 
they will sanction the uh, start of the resolution process right so for uh, there is nclt nclt is the deciding authority for corporations and limited liability firms so nclt is there for corporation and limited liability firms for individual and partnerships there is drts debt recovery tribunals okay so the insolvency and bankruptcy board will oversee the insolvency experts professional agencies and information utilities established under the court so in india it is ibbi ibbi is the authority right so it is the insolvency and bankruptcy board uh, they conduct the exam and they basically give the license okay to the insolvency professionals let's move forward the minimum default for initiating the corporate insolvency resolution procedure or the process CIRP ko start karne ke liye minimum default it used to be 1 lakh now it is 1 crore so agar default 1 crore se zyada hai only then you can initiate CIRP we will do the CIRP process in the next slide don't worry but 1 crore is a minimum default 1 crore ka default karti hai koi company then CIRP proceedings can be started let's move forward this is the process you need to understand that this particular question is repeated most of the times uh, this one and this one a crore ka default hai so ye exam mein aata hai kaafi okay so the simple process is once the default is there default ho gaya the company the debtor is unable to pay off the loans unable to service the debt service the debt matlab kisht nahi de pa rahe insolvency of a uh, appointment of an uh, insolvency professional once the default has been done appointment of insolvency professional and then a moratorium period is given generally 180 days which can be extended to 270 days by default it is 180 days okay but it can be extended by 90 days okay then credit committee is formed credit committee so committee of creditors and then the creditors they make a decision okay two options hai whether to implement the turnaround plan or resurrection plan resurrection it is a new word maybe for a lot of a lot of few people a lot of students resurrection is a new word resurrection business khatam ho raha hai khatam ho chuka almost usko dobara khada karna how you can do that uh, let's say the uh, a business ki jo installment hai, right now it is 5 lakh rupees you are lowering that to let's say 1 lakh rupee or you are giving a moratorium period okay sir you don't pay the installment for next two years after that you can start paying your installment for two years just uh, continue with your business Ab dubara sahi kar loge. so implement the plan Okay, if the creditors 66.6% .6 or two third of the creditors in terms of value, not in terms of numbers, हो सकता है पांच, दस, जितने भी creditors हैं, not एक बंदे की vote is not equal to one, it is according to the value, कितना पैसा दिया हुआ है loan में, so according to the value 66.6% Six percent of the two third of the creditor, जो भी कहते हैं, वो मानना पड़ेगा। If two third of the creditors say yes, plan implement कर लो, तो हो जाता है। Otherwise, if they say no, हमें नहीं चाहिए plan, then undertake the liquidation. This is a simple CIRP process. Okay, even a like fifteen year old kid can understand that. Okay, CIRP का procedure है। Sixty six point six percent creditors, two third of the creditors approve करते हैं, तो ये decision होता है। this question has been asked multiple times. It used to be 75% of the creditors, but it has been reduced to two third. Pehle ye three fourth hota tha, ab two third ho gaya. Exam mein har bar yehi aata hai. Thik? Let's move forward. Uh, amendment. Ek amendment hua hai and pre-packaged insolvency resolution process has been added. So pre-packaged resolution process for the MSMEs. Chote loan from 10 lakhs to 1 crore ka default. अगर default थोड़ा कम है, 10 लाख रुपए से लेके 1 करोड़ रुपए तक का default है, तो procedure is quite different, थोड़ा सा different है, so which is an also important question, default is between 10 lakh and 1 crore, then PIRP लगेगा, uh, <coughs> PPIRP, okay, PPIRP, pre-package insolvency resolution proceedings लगेंगी, otherwise 1 करोड़ से उपर है तो CIRP, okay, important, 
so in the ppi uh, ppi rp it's a type of restructuring in which creditors and debtors they collaborate ye collaborate karte hain on an informal plan before submitting it for the approval so <clears throat> because a lot of you know msmes were going through bad phase during covid uh, the government said we don't have that much time itna time hi nahi tha government ke paas ya authorities ke paas ki wo <coughs> pura मतलब इतने सारे केसेस ले दैट इज वाई द इट हैज बिन डिसाइडेड दैट डू सम होमवर्क द डेटर्स एंड क्रेडिटर्स दे शुड कोलेबोरेट एंड दे शुड मेक अ प्रॉपर इनफॉर्मल प्लान बिफोर कमिंग फॉर द एन सी एल टी ओके द फाइनेंशियल क्रेडिटर विल कंसेंट टू द टर्म्स पॉसिबल टर्म्स ऑफ अ पॉसिबल इन्वेस्टर अंडर दिस मेथड ओके सो इफ पॉसिबल एक इन्वेस्टर भी ढूंढ लेंगे जो विल बाय द बिजनेस so uh, a lot of homework has been done approval of financial creditors the resolution plan however cannot be submitted directly to nclt directly aap nclt ke paas nahi ja sakte before submitting the plan it must be approved by at least 66% of financial creditors or 2/3 of financial creditors who are unrelated to the corporate debtor so minimum default amount i told you it is 10 lakh and maximum is 1 crore moratorium uh, the debtor will be granted moratorium under pirp process during which certain measure against debtor will, will be forbidden so generally 120 days ka moratorium period diya jata hai 120 days ka moratorium is there so initiation of cirp before allowing a corporate uh, cirp the nclt must evaluate pre package insolvency process agar line mein bahut sare cirps hain then nclt would consider pirp the this pre package pp i uh, rp the pre package insolvency resolution processes ko is case in cases ko preference di jayegi okay what is the difference between them <coughs> the corporate insolvency resolution process is applicable to any corporate debtor okay while the pre package insolvency resolution process is applicable to the msmes right सो so, प्रायरिटी दी जाती है पी पी आई आर पी को प्री पैकेज को राइट मिनिमम डिफॉल्ट अमाउंट जो कॉर्पोरेट वाले में है दैट इज वन करोर दो प्री पैकेज वाले में इट इज टेन लैक्स सी आई आर पी में देर इज नो होमवर्क इज रिक्वायर्ड कोई प्रिलिमिनरी वर्क रिक्वायर्ड नहीं है वाइल इन प्री पैकेज इंसॉल्वेंसी रेजोल्यूशन प्रोसेस अ लॉट ऑफ होमवर्क इज रिक्वायर्ड स्पेशल रेजोल्यूशन हैज टू बी डन अप्रूवल ऑफ एटलीस्ट सिक्सटी सिक्स परसेंट फाइनेंशियल क्रेडिटर्स ये पहले करके आप एन के पास तब जाओगे जब हो चुका है नेम ऑफ रेजोल्यूशन प्रोफेशनल बेस रेजोल्यूशन प्लान यू नीड टू मेक अ प्लान एज वेल अदर प्रिस्क्राइब्ड इंफॉर्मेशन रिपोर्ट बाय रेजोल्यूशन प्रोफेशनल ऑल दैट हैज टू बी डन इवन बिफोर गोइंग टू एन सी एल के पास जाने से पहले ये सारा तामचम करना पड़ेगा यू नीड टू नेम द रेजोल्यूशन प्रोफेशनल इवन बिफोर गोइंग टू एन वाइल उसमें ऐसा कुछ नहीं है कॉर्पोरेट इंसॉल्वेंसी रेजोल्यूशन प्रोसेस में ऐसा कुछ नहीं है सो फॉलोइंग पर्सन कैन इनिशिएट सी आई आर पी अ फाइनेंशियल क्रेडिटर कैन डू दैट एन ऑपरेशनल क्रेडिटर कैन डू दैट अ कॉर्पोरेट डेटर हिमसेल्फ इट सेल्फ और इट्स प्रमोटर कैन डू दैट वाइल जो प्री पैकेज है ओनली कॉरपोरेट एप्लीकेंट दम सेल्स कैन इनिशिएट द पी पी आई आर पी ओके सो द मैक्सिमम टाइम लिमिट फॉर द कंप्लीशन ऑफ सी आई आर पी इज वन एटी डेज विच कैन मैक्सिमम जो है नाइन्टी uh, डेज का एक्सटेंशन तब मिल जाता है आपको बताया था एक्सटेंशन नाइन्टी डेज का मिल जाता है मोरिटोरियम पीरियड में एंड देन मैक्सिमम थ्री थर्टी डेज में द प्रोसेस हैज़ टू बी कम्प्लीटेड द टाइम लिमिट फॉर कम्प्लीशन ऑफ प्री पैकेज इंसॉल्वेंसी रेजोल्यूशन प्रोसेस इज वन ट्वेंटी डेज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बार बार एग्जाम में आता है कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ कमेटी कमेटी ऑफ क्रेडिटर्स विद इन थर्टी डेज इन केस ऑफ द कॉरपोरेट इंसॉल्वेंसी रेजोल्यूशन प्रोसेस द प्री पैकेज में विद इन सेवन डेज यू हैव टू मेक द कमेटी इंपॉर्टेंट राइट सो लेट्स डू सम क्वेश्चन द इंसॉल्वेंसी एंड बैंक करप्सी कोड हैज अडॉप्टेड क्रेडिटर इन कंट्रोल मॉडल फॉर कॉरपोरेट इंसॉल्वेंसी रेजोल्यूशन प्रोसेस If you book a flat with real estate company, the company that company enters the corporate insolvency resolution process. You become a financial creditor. थोड़ा सा confusing question है, लेकिन this is the answer. 
a creditor can initiate pre package this is an important question can repeated in the exam a creditor can initiate pre package insolvency resolution process when the debtor company has defaulted at least 10 lakh rupees do uh, jo jo corporate wala hai corporate insolvency resolution process for that 1 crore ka default is required who regulates insolvency professionals insolvency and bankruptcy board in india it's a monitoring authority the power of board of directors of a company undergoing a corporate insolvency resolution process is exercised by the resolution professional he takes you know the complete control of assets of the company that is going through a resolution process okay who among the following has the highest priority in distributing of sale proceeds of liquidation estate in a liquidation process workmen and the employees of the company they get the uh, maximum priority which of the following uh, financial services providers have not gone under the corporate insolvency resolution process yes bank ka nahi hua hai cirp bakiyon ka ho gaya i guess a committee of creditor is comprised of all financial creditors okay and no individual shall be en enrolled as a professional member he is if he is not eligible to be registered as an insolvency professional with the board so exam de ke you need to take the license the <clears throat> within how many days a liquidator uh, liquidator shall distribute the proceeds from realization from the receipt of amount to the stakeholder within 90 days proceeds milne ke baad you have to distribute the amount to the stakeholder i hope you are able to understand the concept i try to explain the whole ibc uh, in the, in an easy language exam related way exam mein itna hi aata hai and whatever has been asked in the previous paper itna hi pucha gaya hai and i'm telling you that much is more than sufficient isse aage jaane ki mujhe lagta nahi zarurat hai because you are not uh, going for legal exam or judicial exam to ab de nahi rahe right so this much is according to me more than sufficient we provide the complete coverage of the syllabus students if you like the today's class you love the course right so we work really hard i mean every day we are working for the central bank of india scale 3 scale 4 course and we are providing complete coverage of the syllabus with the help of video classes well researched notes we are making the test series live session quizzes you can ask your doubts This is our WhatsApp number. Links to join the course is available in the description, right? So in the past, all these students they took our courses and they cracked their respective exams, right? All these students they took our courses in the previous one two years and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really really happy for them. If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts. And that's I guess all for today, students. If there is any other doubt, ask your questions, and we are going to answer your doubts. So thank you, and have a very nice day. Bye bye.